And, and we're, we're back. back at DIA for another yeah. adventure. <laughs> we are at our favorite place here, Root Down. So good. Food has arrived. Mm -hmm. Flight is delayed. Delayed, undelayed, delayed. And then undelayed. advanced. Delayed, undelayed, delayed. No, but it got advanced. It's okay. Whatever. We're eventually going to get on an airplane. Hey. But for now, we're going to enjoy our food. Let's go. <laughs> we have to test negative for COVID tomorrow. Then we're going on the Disney Witch. Yay! I'm excited. So let's get this trip started. Courtyard Marriott in Titusville with the space bar. And this is our magical view as we fall asleep at four o'clock in the morning. And this crazy spaceman is gonna try and get up and watch the rocket launch that's going off in five hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so with that, it's time for some galactic dreams. All right, well, space bar man is headed up to the space bar up top. I'm gonna be chilling here in the room because Wally is still sound asleep as he should be because we've only gotten about four, five hours of sleep. Something like that, I don't know. I mean, it's 9.30 a.m., but we didn't go to bed till 4.30. So <laughs> we're a little tired, but Mark could not miss this opportunity to see a rocket launch because it's all luck in how these things get scheduled. And this was announced about a week ago that this was going on and we had booked this hotel room with the hope that maybe there was a small chance, but if not, it would just be an awesome place to stay because check out the view from our room. So this is our first floor patio. And that is Kennedy Space Center, right there across the waterway. Pad 40, where we're launching from this morning, is like literally right here. They have these awesome chairs and hammocks you can sit at. But we have one of four patio rooms. It has its own fire pit, which is pretty awesome. Maybe not needed in July, but still really cool. The pool is right there. So gonna be a pretty awesome place to watch the rocket launch from this morning as well. Mark will probably have a better view up top, but I am totally fine with this. I can chill down here with Wally while he sleeps, and I get in on the action as well. And Wally Doodle is out cold. Guys, look at that, look at that awesome poster there in the back. You can see the space bar logo, there's the actual bar. You know me, my Instagram pseudonym is the space bar man, the flying space bar man. And this is amazing. And there's our view. You can see down here, guests of the hotel can also go out on the, uh, on the edge, get a nice little Adirondack chair or a hammock if you really want. The view from down there is obstructed by a lot of trees and foliage. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but for your casual view, it's quite fun to be that down close to the water. We had a cool sea breeze this morning. Our room is actually right down there, the third, third patio over. I'm not going to be able to see our room as she comes way out to the edge. Three minutes. It is three minutes to launch. Are they saying anything about the weather, Russ? 
far so good. So far so good. All right, Mark's got the stream up on the channel. While he was sort of kind of awake, he opened his eyes a tiny bit. Heading out for the launch. Open up the window just in case while he wakes up. And wants to see the launch. All right, we're T minus 46 seconds. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this is actually happening. This is amazing. I have goosebumps right now. I don't think I can see Mark up there. to the right the vehicle assembly building there. Yep, there it is. There it is. <laughs> there it is, oh my gosh. There it goes. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Wow. Okay, that is pretty cool. <laughs> You're able to watch that right from our hotel room. Ooh, and here comes the sound. <gasps> wow. Wow. I don't know if Wally woke up with that. <laughs> He's still asleep. Stage separation, second engine. There it goes. Main engine cut off, stage separation, and then second engine start number one. Wally. A rocket just took off. Did you hear the sonic boom? Did it wake you up? <laughs> All right. Well, the crowd has started to clear out. Do note, you know, you have to take the hotel elevators to get up here. And so there was a line and everyone left, but bar is open. I have to go get something. And just like that, the rain has arrived. All right, Omar, had to Cheers bring to a launch. <laughs> from the space park. It actually went off. That's amazing. Thread that weather needle and send some Starlink satellites Talk about in the sky. Perfect timing. It's Cheers. raining right now. <laughs> well, we have had a pretty epic day, and oh, yeah. best part of the day is we passed our COVID test. <laughs> so we were all yeah. negative. We did a virtual appointment for um, Disney Cruise Line yep. to do the safe passage. So we've uploaded our results. We should hear soon that that's been approved. That's the hope. Um, but it was all negative and everything, so that's awesome. So I feel like I can finally relax and really just fall into this vacation and enjoy it. So <laughs> we've been having a lot of fun in our super cool space room. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got like this really cool- no, Hold on, let me show them. Laser light over here. It's a cool <laughs> space man. And that's what projects up on the ceiling. I showed you guys that last night. So we've had a really fun morning. <laughs> the flying space bar man got to watch a rocket, a rocket launch, launch fly launch from the space bar. From the space bar. <laughs> Our friend Russ is here, which I'm sure you've seen in the vlog by now. Maybe. Yep. I don't know. <laughs> but Russ is here. He's just getting checked into his room. And we're going to go to the beach. But before we go to the beach, <laughs> we thought we'd give you guys a really quick room tour because this hotel is amazing. So this is the brand new Courtyard Marriott in Titusville, which is literally across the waterway literally. from Kennedy Space Center. So let me just give you a quick tour of this room and then we're gonna head out to the beach. All right, well, like I showed you guys earlier, we have one of the patio rooms, which is super nice. They are on the first floor and there's only four of these rooms. So we did book quite a while ago in order to secure this room and I'm really glad we did because it was amazing and the fact that we got to see a rocket launch from here is just phenomenal. So we have this nice little like kitchen area over here. Everything's like very spacey looking, very futuristic. Um, but I do love that the courtyards have the little fridge and it is a micro fridge for sure, but that you have a microwave as well, which is really nice. I have a nice little sitting area over here. And then this room actually has two king beds. Two king beds, which is crazy. So um, more room than we need, but it was nice because like Wally and I slept in one bed, Daddy slept in the other. So we had plenty of room to spread out. I love that they have the like galaxy walls in here. 
so cool. You know, they could update these photos now with the new telescope, right? That would be cool. So, and then we got this nice little desk and this was actually really nice because it's on wheels. So we actually wheeled this out and had lunch in here and did our COVID tests in here. So that's a really like smart piece of furniture. And even like the chair is very like futuristic looking, like it feels like Star Trek. Um, so then we got like a nice little like storage area over here, all of our stuff. And then kind of this cool space door too. Like you wouldn't even like know, it's got this full length mirror, but then it's actually your closet right here. So, and then it has a mirror when you open it too, which is <laughs> crazy. <laughs> so we got a nice closet here. And then the bathroom. So nice shower and shower tub, which is nice. And they have, and they have all of the like shampoo and conditioner and soap in here. So that's really nice. So yeah, just a simple bathroom, but very, very nice setup and just, I love how like it's clean and futuristic looking and just perfect for a Space Coast hotel. Lots of plugs, like everywhere, like everywhere. Like Ivan on this light over here, I ended up plugging my laptop in up here. And then there's also like four more outlets on the wall back there, but like ton, I mean, even like the alarm clock over here has another USB and power plug on it. So. Very smartly designed room, super comfortable for our stay. But now, let's go to the beach! Yay! Well, our room is right there. There's our patio. Yes, it has started raining. <laughs> but you can see, super easy path to get right over here to the pool. All right, well, the uh, pool seems pretty nice. It's got a zero entry, zero entry area. And you look over here, it looks like they have a pool bar. Wow, that's really cool. All right, grab some towels while, you got, while he's got some water. I grabbed some towels from the pool. He actually said you can check them out from the front desk. And so, you know, to go out on the chairs, to go up and down, you can go up and down the walkway. He said, he said it's about a half mile each direction they have paved nice. and ready to go. So we're gonna take these out to the beach and have some fun. We're gonna drive there though. Playa Linda is a little ways away. Um, but yeah, you can check out beach towels from the front desk. Well, we are here at the Canaveral National Seashore on our way to Playa Linda Beach, but we had to stop. It had 39B out the window, and you can see just beyond that, it had 39A, SpaceX's Black Tower crew access arm, and you can see their giant crane that they have. It's pretty um, cool. That crane is taller than the rockets <laughs> they blast off building their new Starship launch tower right next to it. That's cool. Just one that's really close here is going to be home to the Space Launch System SLS rocket that's getting our next astronauts to the moon. That's I'm going to make the assumption you can't sit here when that thing goes off. <laughs> no, probably not. This will probably be a little close. Oh, we have arrived at Playa Linda Beach. Or that. See, I told you we'd be close to 39B. We're going to head on up. Boardwalk, get over the dune. <laughs> oh. I imagine on busy days, you've got to get here pretty early, but man, I wish that SLS rocket was right there. Look at that. Oh. It's right now in the summer. This beach is open from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Cost twenty dollars for a one-time pass. One-day pass works for well, it actually works for seven days, um, and that's usual at national parks. Your annual passes and gold passes and senior passes also work here. So if you have a national parks pass elsewhere, it works here. If it's one of those national national-wide passes, this is the longest continuous beach in the Atlantic, all the way up there. We're here at gate one, stopped right away so that we could be as close to the rocketry as possible, but you know, all the way, all, all the way down there, way down there, way down there. 
to 13. Signs warned us 13 is potentially a little bit clothing optional. That's why we stopped down here one. Look at these waves, low tide. These low tides are up here on the shelf. Wow. Russ and I have walked all the way down to the end of Playa Linda Beach. Irene and Wally are way down there. We made it. We made it. <laughs> There's this cool little thing you go up to. By the way, this is the official line in the sand. Can't go past here. They'll come get you. You'll get in trouble. They'll go past here. We're going to get as close to rocketry as we possibly can. I'll grab a screen grab it. This is the closest I think you can get to modern rocketry equipment. There are no rockets on any pads today. Giving credit where credit is due, Russ said this was about a mile down here based on his visualization, my watch. Now we are walking back, so it's a little bit less than a mile, yeah. but yeah, we're probably going to be at a mile and a half by the time we get yeah. back. That's a good walk. I'm on vacation. I'm not supposed to be yeah, working. Yeah, working. What the heck <laughs> does that? I should just have a little beach cart drive us down here. <laughs> by the way, these waves and the ripples are amazing. Perfect Florida days where it's like stormy and then sunny and then stormy. 
stormy and then sunny and it stayed perfectly cool. And I think our beach time is rounding out for the day, but it could not have been more perfect. This was a pretty awesome beach day. We snuck it in in between the storms. This is Playa Lindo Beach. So it is a part of the National Park Services. Um, so it's $20 to come park your car here. We actually ended up just buying a National Parks annual pass, annual pass for 80. Nationwide. Nationwide. So since we live in Colorado and we have Rocky Mountain National Park in our backyard, we thought, well, you know what? We'll probably use it. So for 80 bucks, it was worth it. Yeah. Feel that storm coming in. It's it's really such be been a, such a beautiful day though. It's like yeah. breezy and Mark just loved the space views over here. We're gonna go check out the manatee observation deck over here and see if we can see any manatees. All right, here's the manatee observation deck. Stay on the deck, no fishing. Right here at Holliver Canal. There's a thunder boomer rolling in. What? 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 That is crazy. Wally, what is that? Is that a sea cow? Wow. Cool. Look at him. Look at his little nose sticking up there. Did you see him? Yeah. I'm seeing bubbles over there. Look at this over here. He just stuck his nose up. <laughs> Hi, buddies. Look how big he is. Well, if it's a uh, Epcot manatee, it eats lettuce. <gasps> it does eat lettuce. Some very good tips on manatee watching here. Yeah. Has to be above 70, right? Above 70, yeah. Yep. yep. So it's kind of a perfect day because it yeah. wasn't super sunny or hot. Yep. So they're real happy in there. But it's still 85? Yeah. I said bring your polarized sunglasses to cut the glare off the water. That's a real good idea. Well, that was cool. You see there's a, uh, a uh, thermometer there that shows the... Oh, is that actually showing the water though? It should be. That's the water temperature. Oh, that's cool. That oh, there. yeah. On our way back to the hotel, we decided to stop at Cosmic Creamery and Creations. What? <laughs> Mr. Russ, what'd you get? Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I got butter for God. Wally, what'd you get? That's, that's birthday, birthday cake, cake with a magic shell. A magic shell. I got peas bar. Yum. I think we're gonna need some apples. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, we're gonna take the official entrance up to the space bar. This is really cool. When they have astronauts come visit, they sign. Those are real astronauts that have visited here, bud. What? what? And so, so you know where we're at. Here's the front door when you come in. Here's the lobby. Wally's hitting the button. Going up to the space bar. <laughs> well, there is only one. Not Roof. exactly like Space 220. No, no, this is, <laughs> this is not Space 220. This is just a standard elevator. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, here we go. All right. Oh, this is super cool at night. Welcome to the space bar. The space bar. The do <laughs> Twilight has set into the space bar. Check this out, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is amazing. What a gorgeous spot to come 
see the sunset. Wow. Here's a look at the menu. Um, we'll post a link down below how to get to their menu online so you can see if it updates or anything. So, um, as we had seen online, they uh, do not have a lot of gluten-free items. Identify do not have a lot of gluten-free items. I'm gonna get a sandwich without any bread, but that'd be good. Um, these guys are getting some space bar nachos. Space bar nachos so that should work out. And obviously, if you do a salad, you can figure your way through. So, know what you know. Oh, and then kids items. They don't have a kids menu. Oh, yes. But they could do peanut butter and jelly, cheese quesadilla, grilled cheese, or turkey sandwich. Turkey sandwich. Yep. So, all right. I had to get the Causeway <laughs> Cosmo. Sounds right. You buy the Causeway. Yeah. yeah. And it's really good. Yeah. Co Cheers. Causeway. <laughs> Causeway. Cause I needed it. <laughs> Well, Irene is shedding cheers, tears. <laughs> okay, so happiness. Look, Look at that. that. Look at the bowl. It's like got like kind of like galactic star pattern in it. Yeah. These look oh. amazing. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Yep. Russ got the same thing. Mine's on its way. What's all in there? Uh, queso. queso. What else do you need? Uh, braised short rib, black beans, shishino peppers, and homemade blue corn tortillas, but yes. I don't think they're blue. All right, and I deglutened the Cubano. This looks amazing. Cuban charcuterie board. I get a, it, it, it actually is, Russ. It's a Cuban charcuterie board. This is right up my alley. <laughs> 